Welcome to Math with Mrs. Cox. We're on page 365. We are on chapter 5, lesson 10, homework. And the secret to this chapter is making sure you line up your decimals and make sure you subtract properly. As you can see right here, they have you um, regroup and borrow. So pay attention to that. You may want to grab some graph paper for this or write very neatly, please. All right, let's begin. Number one, 9.03 subtract 4.09. We cannot take nine from three, so then we have to get a pen that works. Aha, there we go. Cross that off, cross that off, and borrow from here, and that's gonna be an eight. This would make it a 10, but then we have to borrow from it, so it's gonna actually be a nine. This will be 13. So nine from 13 is gonna be a beautiful number of four. Nine minus zero is going to be, well, nine eight minus four is four dot 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 splat don't forget that beautiful little decimal there and i'm gonna write my nine a little neater there you go okay they have not put this in proper order they want to see if you can line them up so write your first number kind of big and bubbly so you have plenty of room for your numbers put that decimal first then the whole number which is 55 and then the decimal part, which is 12. So we have 71.65 minus 55.12. Now we can take two from five, that'll be a three. Six minus one is five, decimal. But however, we cannot take five from one, so we're gonna have to borrow and regroup. That will be 11. And five will go into 11, six. There'll be six numbers between those two, and six minus five is one. So our answer is going to be 16.53. Number 18. We cannot take 5 from 4, so we're going to have to borrow and regroup. So that's going to be 8, 14. 9 will be our answer. 8 minus 2 is 6. Bring down the decimal. 8 minus 3 is 5. Bring down the 1 and the dollar sign. 15. $15.69. Join me on the next page, please. Roberto uses his handheld GPS device to determine that he hikes 21.48 miles in one weekend. The next weekend, he hikes 30 miles. How much less? Less usually means subtraction. Did he hike the first weekend than the second weekend? So, less. All right, so 30 is how much he hiked the second weekend. Now, the first weekend, he hiked 21. Then we have a decimal point. They want to see if you can line this up. Now, remember, at the end of every whole number, there is a decimal point. Like Pretend that's like $30. That's what it would look like. You can also put placeholder zeros there to do the subtraction problem. They just want to test your knowledge to see if you can do that. But we cannot take eight from zero, so we're gonna have to regroup, cross all these beautiful th numbers out, turn that into a two, nine, nine, and a 10. Eight, nine, 10, there's two left over. Nine minus four is five, bring down the decimal, dot, 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 splat. Nine minus one is eight. And two minus two is zero. So I'm not gonna put that there and just say that he hiked 8.52 miles. More the second weekend. Number five, Jabbar buys <clears throat> 2.74 pounds of dry pinto beans and five point, excuse me, 4.05 pounds of dried lima beans. What is the difference between the weights the the beans that Jabbar buys? So, if you're wondering what to put on top, always look for the bigger number. 405, and then you line up the decimals. And on the left of the decimal, here's the whole number. And on the right of the decimal, here is the decimal number. I mean, the right of the decimal point is the decimal number. And I didn't write that right. All right. Take two. We're going to try that again. 
So write the larger number, 405. Put your decimal number there. Whole number goes over here, and then the decimal value, 0.74, goes over here. Okay, we can take 4 from 5, that's 1. We cannot take 7 from 0, so we'll have to borrow and regroup. 7, 8, 9, 10, there's 3 left over. Dot, 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 splat. 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have 1.31 pounds. Number seven, Rebecca's baby brother weighs seven pounds and 71 hundredths, 7.71 pounds. How much more than 10 pounds will her baby brother weigh if he gains 1.3 pounds each week for the next two weeks? Okay, so let's simplify this. Okay, we know that he weighs 7.71, right? And then he's going to gain this much weight each week for two weeks. So we can just go, there's several different ways you can figure it out. The easiest in my head is just go week one, week two, and add all that together. Put placeholders right there. Now there's a couple different other ways you can do this where you can actually take two times point, 1.3. That's your decision. Okay, but we're not finished yet, okay? Bring down the one, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 7, 8, 9, 10, dot, 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 splat. Okay, that's how much he's going to weigh. But listen to the question. How much more than 10 pounds will her baby brother weigh? So then they want you to take 10 pounds off. And there's going to be 0.3. That was a brain booger. Number seven, Marshall has been given the option to receive an allowance once a week or once a month. Should he choose $3.25 each week or $10.75 each month? Let's explain. So which one can he receive more? Now you can do 3.25 and then you can add 3.25 and 3.25 and 3.25 to equal four weeks. Or you could just multiply it. Because remember multiplication is just repeated addition. Four times five is 20. 4 times 2 is 8, 9, 10. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And this is where you use the upside down rainbow. There's one, two spots. So you come here to the end, one, two spots. Okay, so that'll be $13. Now, I'm going to erase this work over here so I have room to prove my point. Then he could also receive $10.75 a month. So what would you rather receive? I would say $10.75 is less than the $13. So personally, I'd rather get more money. So I would go for the $3.25 a week. And then just show them they did this work over here. They wanted to throw this in here because they want to introduce you to multiplication with decimals. And that's where you do the upside down rainbows to see how many place values you go over. Good job. Number eight, Camille buys a pen that costs a dollar and nine cents and a tablet of paper that costs $2 and 50 cents. How much more? does the paper cost in a pen? So they're doing a subtraction problem. We're finding the difference between the pad of paper and then the pen. 
Okay, we cannot take 9 from 0, so we're going to have to borrow and regroup. That'll be 4. This will be 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. 4 minus 0 is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have a dollar and 41. And I can see that answer right there. All right, thank you, friends. Turn this paper in, and please make sure you check your Alex homework for your 10-question quiz.